Concussions are a big concern for football players. Many parents worry about their kids playing football. Now, researchers are making advances in how they evaluate the safety of youth football helmets. A team at Virginia Tech measured how helmets currently on the market are protecting kids from head impacts and possible concussions. Seven helmet models earned five stars, the highest possible rating. The cheapest helmet to receive the five star rating is from Shut Sports and costs almost $220. So will Virginia Tech's new ratings of youth helmets really make a difference? Peggy Fox takes a look. Some parents are so concerned about concussions, they won't let their kids play football. Will the helmet protect them? Virginia Tech biomedical researchers already rank varsity helmets. Now they've got a helmet ranking out for players younger than 14. Researcher Steve Rosen explains why they needed to do a separate study for kids. Children aren't scaled down adults, so they have bigger heads relative to their necks. Their necks are weaker and their brains are still developing. Kids also hit their heads differently than adults. So what we did was put sensors inside the helmets of youth football players and measure their head impacts. So after four years of data collection, we had a really good idea of how hard they hit their head, how frequently and where. They take that information into a lab and then hit a dummy that represents a 10 to 12 year old boy. Sensors measure the dummy's head impact or acceleration. The helmets that effectively reduce head acceleration earned higher scores. So what should parents make of this new youth helmet ratings? You know, it's great to have more research. We definitely need it. Rest in pediatrician Dr. Vincent Escrizzi says the new helmet ratings are just a piece of the puzzle concerning football injuries. How risky is football for our kids? In terms of all injuries, it has about the same number of injuries as other sports, but there are more severe injuries, and the head injuries are the ones that have most concern. Dr. Escrizzi says the worry he has over these new helmet ratings is that they might give some parents a false sense of security when it comes to their young children playing football. A concussion, after all, is due to a rapid change in the velocity of the head, whether it's uh, in a straight line or rotating, like if, for example, if you fell backwards. And um, helmets are not going to protect you for that. He says parents really need to sit down with their kids before they play and explain the risks, making sure the benefits of playing outweigh the risks. In Reston, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.